and then we're gonna finish off the rest of the interior framing so we can start sheeting the building. Um, this was done while I was away on work because we're putting way too much weight up top. It's not all sheeted yet, so we're gonna shoot a laser line here. But what these do is that gives the sheet a place to die off. So we're gonna be putting up OSB sheeting or just sheeting in general all the way around. <laughs> What's up everyone, Wild Schneider Outdoors and welcome back to the lake and welcome back to the lake shop build. Now, for today's video, we are going to be finishing off the mezzanine level, which is that second story that's gonna be livable in the shop. And for that, we gotta finish the subfloor, get the hurricane ties put in, as well as getting the back vaulted ceiling wall finished. And then we're gonna finish off the rest of the interior framing so we can start sheeting the building. Once that's done, we can start putting on the house wrap, get the trusses flown in, get the roof on, and then before you know it, the shop's done. But let's take you up to the shop and show you what you missed this week while I was away from work. Uh, but we'll, we'll take you up there and show you what you missed and then show you what we got to do now. All right, so when we left off last time, we had just gotten these I-beams run and we were missing a couple in the back. Mezzanine done. Now, the reason we have to get that done is because you can see... Now, I'll show you up here. You can see... These I-beams here were the ones that were missing. We got those in and installed, and I will take you upstairs and show you how much we got done after we got these put in place. So now this is the view from the upstairs. As you can see, once we got those put on back there, we were able to sheet the floors. Now, I wasn't here for this. Um, this was done while I was away on work, but we've got this whole subfloor put in now, which means we can start working on this final wall that's gonna tie everything into the 14-foot eave height that we have set, or the 14-foot wall height. And then once those are done, we can sheet the building, get the trusses flown in, and then start working on the roof. So let's go. Got to get to work. So update, see if I can see one from through here. We had to run into town and get, oh, I don't know if you can see it right there, that metal clip. That is a tie down for the plate. And then squeeze through the wall here. You can see we added this extra balloon wall here that'll help carry the wall from this height up to the level of the floor, which is that sub floor up top. So that way it's all even all the way across when we start to stand that final back wall that's gonna be vaulted and then those other two side walls. So it all needs to be the same level because if you look out here is that from that point to there is the new wall we're gonna have to build, but this all has to be 14 feet on this side, the front, and this side over here. So that way when we lay, oh, hello, little dragonfly landed on me. Go away. When we put the uh, trusses on, they'll all sit at the same height. And then if you look up here, he's working on putting those final cripples in. But look up above the garage door. We got that final header put in. And then the cripples up top. That's going to help carry that weight down to that header, out to the outside beams, and then straight down to the ground. Still working at it. Got a couple more hours of daylight left. We're not giving up yet. Okay, quick update for you here. So, we ran into a problem. We noticed while we were up there, the building was moving a lot. And the reason that is, is because we don't have any sheeting on the sides. So, we are stopping what we're doing up there because we're putting way too much weight up top. It's not all sheeted yet. So, we're gonna shoot a laser line here. We are going to get everything all leveled out so that way we know the building is square and we're gonna sheet this whole back wall because we need this sheeted in order for us to have reassurance that everything is squared off. So we're gonna get all sealed off, get all the sheeting on, and then we can start working again on the top. All right, we're at the end of the day here. Not gonna be the end of the video because there's not a lot that I've recorded, but we are gonna go ahead and continue. We're gonna clean up and then we're gonna come back at it tomorrow so that way we can get the rest of this sheeted. There's a lot of work to do. It's just running out of daylight and we're getting kind of hungry. So we're gonna call it here. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll see you then. And we are back. Good morning. Well, good morning for me. Good afternoon, evening, or night for you. So, we're back out here. This is what we got going on. This is where we left off last night. We are hanging 
these pieces right here. Now, what these are for is, if you look down, right, it's quite a ways down to the ground. But what these do is that gives the sheet a place to die off. So we're going to be putting up OSB sheeting or just sheeting in general all the way around the shop itself. And that just gives it more structural rigidity. It helps keep the building square. And the reason for that is, is one, gives it sheer strength, right? So as we're up there working, we found last night that there's just too much weight up top and this isn't sheeted yet. So it wants to wobble all over the place. And two, if we can get this sheeting done, then we know our building square and we can call for our trusses to have them come out so we can fly those. So that's what we're working on today is getting this building sheeted and then standing those final walls. All right, because I am the world's worst camera operator and I get in work mode, we have our first sheet hung. Now, this is what we're gonna be hanging. We've gotta have nails every six inches on the borders and then 12 in the field, right? So every six inches on the border of the sheet. And then for the studs in the center, they have to be every 12 inches. So we're gonna nail this sheet down and then keep running sheets all the way across. All right, welcome to the top of my head. We're gonna go up and put in these hangers. We are gonna go up and do this. This is my favorite new tool. I love this thing. It's on. Date. Here we go. We've got that wall sheeting done on the back there, which helped with our lateral side to side movement. That really stiffened things up a bunch. And now we've got the first 16 feet right underneath the mezzanine, this wall up right here. So that sheeting's on, that's going to help with the back and forth movement. So when we have more weight going, I'll show you up here, up top, when we finish the, that framed wall there, that's the wall for that section, but it's so heavy that when we went up there without the sheeting on, everything would wiggle around. Even though it was braced, it still wasn't structurally sound enough for us to be moving around up there. There's just too much weight. So we got that first round of sheeting on. We can put these up, attach the hurricane ties to it so that way it won't have any uplift if there is a windstorm. And then we can lift that final wall, which is a vaulted wall. Almost there. All right, sheeting is on to the 16 foot mark. We're just nailing up some final stuff upstairs, but you can see here, all the way through underneath the mezzanine that sheeting is on it is much more stable upstairs thank goodness and then up here we've got that wall that we had to cut off if you go back to our well goodness a couple of videos ago you'll see that we made a mistake here we cut the wall off so we made a mistake now we're going to fix that but i'm glad we caught it early because that means that this back wall this other side wall and the front will all be fixed we now have it reattached where it should be and it finishes off up to that 14 foot height so those trusses can sit on top of this. But that is gonna be it for today. Big shout out to Asan for all the video edits he does. If you have any video editing that you need done, head over to Fiverr, I'll put the link down in the description and check him out. He does all the video editing on this channel and it is fantastic. Go over to Facebook and Instagram, check us out there. We post way more on that than we do on our actual YouTube channel. So go over to those, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to turn that bell icon on so you never miss a video. Hold on a second. Look at that, not him, but look at that. Gorgeous, can't beat this view. Thank you so much for sticking with us and I appreciate everything that you do, every comment I try to get to them, so drop them down below and as always, stay wild.